hormones and diabetes. Many people have wondered what is the link between hormones and diabetes because diabetes is diagnosed with blood glucose and you manage with blood sugars and you keep checking the blood sugars, cholesterol, blood pressure and many people have wondered why are hormones linked to that. But if you actually look inside the body and wonder what actually happens, you can see that hundreds of hormones go wrong before diabetes even becomes manifested in a person. First of all, the, in the body, the insulin stops functioning and the body stops responding to insulin, so-called insulin resistance. So the insulin level goes up. As a result, the beta cells get tired or undergo apoptosis and become less and less. So you have insulin deficiency and the, all of the other hormones that control the insulin control go wrong. GLP is another important hormone that goes wrong. In the brain, there are so many hormones that control metabolism, appetite, the hunger, etc. that can go wrong. So for example, GLP is a hormone that tells us when to stop eating and is actually low in people with diabetes. So somebody with diabetes and high glucose may keep eating. There are lots of hormones that are or called adipokines, little, little, tiny quantities of hormones that are produced from fat cells that are important for somebody to live healthy and are produced in either excessive quantities or little quantities from the fat cells and in an unregulated manner. And that's an important pathology that occurs in diabetes. And that causes wound healing to go wrong, atherosclerosis or cardiac problems to occur, blood pressure to go, go up, and the body itself is in a state of inflammation because of all of these adipokines going wrong. So if you have ever wondered that it's just a glucose problem and the hormones are normal, you have thought wrong because almost all of the hormones can go wrong. Actually, even fertility, thyroid hormones, bone health, all of them which are controlled by hormones can go wrong in the patients with diabetes so it's important to put everything right and the diabetes metabolism right in order to reset the balance of the hormones in the body in order to live healthy although we don't generally counsel patients about hormones it is important to take this into account when you think about your health